Navigating through the first nine weeks of school has been different for a lot of families. But as the academic year continues, school districts like Henrico County depend on parent feedback to make sure all students can learn safely during the pandemic. I am surprised at the amount of time the technology is on, the kids are on, I can hear them talking from their rooms. They are engaging in class to the best of their ability and personality because it's a whole different world being virtual. Kristen Baker is a Henrico County parent with two kids in high school. She recently took Henrico County's second nine week survey, a questionnaire with three different in-person learning scenarios. One being in-person learning five days a week, another in-person learning four days a week with Wednesday being an independent virtual learning day and deep cleaning day for schools and teachers, or in-person learning two days a week with students assigned either to Mondays and Tuesdays or Thursdays and Fridays. The questionnaire didn't really address to me what would happen if the kids go back in person. What happens to the kids who are still virtual? Because depending on that, that may have changed my decision. Um, I've also heard from parents that are concerned about what will happen to the staffing with the virtual, with the students who have chosen virtual. In a recent school board meeting, questions and concerns like Baker's were brought up. School leaders mentioned that they plan to address concerns like Baker's based off of data response. We, well, we have continued to um, share that there would be an option for our students to stay virtual if that's what they wanted. You know, looking at the, the data is really going to be key to knowing how you would make the classes. But we, you know, until we have more definitive data, and that's why we were asking our families and our staff to really take this seriously because this is what we need to help guide what our options are. Right now, there is no definitive plan for the second nine weeks. School officials are hoping to have the data results from the survey ahead of the next school board meeting. But in the meantime, parents like Baker are hoping moving forward, all options are taken into consideration for all of their students' needs. We just all have to come together as a village. I mean, what works for one person is not going to work for someone else, and we need to try to support each other. Henrico County Public Schools' second nine weeks survey ends on Sunday, and the school board's health committee plans to make recommendations on October 22nd. If other suggestions are made, parents will be able to give their input on October 23rd through the 27th.